That's right over here, look at that. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here, doing another Hot Toys action figure review on Marvel's Captain America Civil War movie masterpiece MMS35016 scale Captain America figure. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get it big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. We got some very cinematic packaging over here. I really like this a lot, unless they just use that Prisma app or whatever, but no, this is it's really nice. I really dig this. This is really cool. You can see Sharon Carter. You get Falcon up there. You can see Winter Soldier on the side. You get the rest of Team Cap. And we get Scarlet Witch. We get Hawkeye. Well, not the complete Team Cap, right? Because we found out more. He's, you know, he's got more on his side. But anyway, we get Captain America at the top and then Civil War at the bottom. Then you can lift up the sleeve right over here, revealing the figure inside. And then on this side, you get this nice pattern right here. It's not textured or anything. And then on the very back, you can see the shield. All the people responsible for creating the figure and then you can see another little shield right there all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's our brand new hot toys captain america out of the packaging and i love this figure i'm so happy with this piece mostly because of that interchangeable face over there which really just makes the figure pop in a lot of ways man i really like it a lot uh, you can see his chonies hanging out just a little bit over there it's a very well articulated figure man i, I really like the articulation on this piece a lot there are definitely some frustrations that I have with it, but I really like how the costume looks. Again, I like the articulation, and he has really cool accessories as well. So let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at our Civil War Captain America. So he's looking at his base, which I like. Not looking too bad at all over here. He does not come with a dynamic posing stand, which you saw earlier. It's just the gooch cradle right over here, which, you know, it's okay. It's adequate. You know, it does what it's supposed to do, which is grab the gooch. So anyway, looking at this over here, I do like that we get the shield and the design. We get the spot varnishing with Captain America Civil War, and a pretty nice looking plaque as well. Now as always, before you start messing with the figure, you want to read the directions. Look at that, it tells you how to remove the head and everything, there's some belt parts that come apart and everything, so carefully read this before you start messing with the figure. Later in this video, you're actually going to see me recommend not following the instructions, but for the most part, read the directions on your Hot Toys. So we get a Crossbones helmet with this figure, which I think is fantastic. I really like it a lot, and I love Frank Grillo's performance as far as the Crossbones goes. So it wasn't Crossbones great, and I really like this helmet. I love that you could see some yellow and brown paint right in there it's not just white it looks really good I'm really digging it a lot and you can see the straps right here on the back and everything so we get seven interchangeable hands with this figure you can see that we get this pointing finger right here like, no Tony you're wrong you're wrong you're wrong and then we get these fists and then these are for like oh, I hate you Tony bam pow pow and then we also get these shield grabbing hands right over here which look pretty good and then we get this relaxed hand for the left side we get a more open hand right here for the right side some nice color variation right over here and I think it looks really good especially for the fleshy parts Gloves look very intricate with all the little stitching and all that stuff going on. So I really like them as far as the design goes. Putting them on is not as fun. Uh, we also get some extra wrist pegs in case you break a wrist peg. And then we also get this little clip right over here for shield storage, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment. Now this figure comes with an absolutely gorgeous shield. I love this thing. It's die cast, so that's really cool. It has that nice metallic weight to it because it's made out of metal. I love how the star came out right here. Great sculpted work in there. And you can see all the little lines and the red looks great. Love how it reflects light. Very nice paint on it. Absolutely love it. You know, on the inside right over here, which I don't really absolutely love, we have the same system right here with the straps and everything. It's actually slightly different from the first Avenger Captain America, which you can see right here. You know, similar system where you can see that clip came off. And I might as well do a little size comparison with the shields. Now, this is not a metal shield, and you can see how much paint came off of this. People have told me to go ahead and use a red Sharpie. I have not done so yet, but yeah, I'm liking this shield a lot more. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how I put the shield on this this figure, but I'm going to explain to you how the directions recommend you do it. Uh, they say that you're supposed to take this off right here, and you can see that these clips do come off. And unlike the first Avenger version, you don't have to actually get your fingernails in there and pinch that. You can just pull these apart. I did have this piece come off on me, and I did super glue it on there, so be careful with that. Anyway, you take this, and then you weave it into the hand. 
and it's kind of tricky to do that. You clip this back together, and then you take this, and you weave this through here, and then you port the hand on there. Sounds simple enough, but it is not simple at all. It sucks so hardcore, and it's mostly because it's difficult getting these hands onto the wrist peg in general. There's a lot of space in there, and there's a lot of fabric right here, and luckily it's this durable elastic fabric closest to the wrist, but what I like to do, what I found best for me, is to go ahead and get that in there first, and then go ahead and weave this fist right through that larger loop. So it's just gonna go right in there and this, you know, this is just my way of doing it. You could try it at your own risk. And then while the hand is attached, I'll try to get this strap on right over here. I found myself completely detaching this right here so that actually might be easier to get that detached and then line everything up and then port these things through here. It's actually a little trickier to do while you're looking through a viewfinder, you know, because I don't want it to be all blurry for you guys, but okay, there it all comes apart. Okay, and now I've got that reattached, so there it goes. That's my recommendation, and even that isn't so simple. So I'm pretty frustrated with Hot Toys in general on that. I think they don't really keep track of how well their figures function. Like, they need to hire somebody that plays with the figure before they start reproducing. Like, the whole thing with the wrists on the Deadpool, shouldn't somebody at Hot Toys had known that was going to happen. It's like nobody actually plays with the figures after they make them. It's like, okay, looks like a good Captain America. Okay, let's ship it out. Now to demonstrate how you get this displayed on his back, what you're supposed to do is you take the smaller loop and you just remove the clips right over there. And you can see you have those two ports now and then you get these two clips right here on the back of this black piece. And then that's gonna go in like that. And then tab right in like that. Then now you have that little hook right there. Very similar to the first Avenger Captain America. And then now that rests on his back like so. You know, which looks pretty good. It's a little flimsy though, you know? You, you kind of want to be careful with this. You don't, you know, yeah, that's definitely flimsy. Look at that. Now, as usual, I am very happy with this head sculpt that Hot Toys has given us. JC Hung for the win, right? He's just been killing it, man. Really looks like Chris Evans to me. I really like it a lot. Not too different from what I remember of the Age of Ultron Captain America figure, but I think it looks really good. But what's really different about it is that we get this interchangeable lower face, which you saw earlier. But going back to the helmet, you know, before I show that off, I want to just look at the little details right here. You know, you get those little white painted scuffs right over there on the silver. And on the side right over here, we get some more dings and whatnot. Nice black fade right there around the edges. The strap right over here around the chin looks fantastic. The back of the head looks really good. Little dings and little, like, silver knots right over there holding the helmet together. So I think this is awesome. Love you can see the hair right here coming around the neck. Really good looking he helmet sculpt and head sculpt. But to demonstrate this new angry face, which I absolutely love because when you get this guy into a bunch of poses and everything, you want him to have an action face to go with your action pose. And I just absolutely love this. What's kind of funny about it is if you kind of like misalign it, it looks super freaky. All right, but anyway, getting this back on there, that's not too difficult. And there it goes, looking sick. That is a mean Captain America. Oh man, he's gonna kick your butt. That is super cool. I'm really happy with this. That is badass. That, oh man, that, that's really what sells the figure for me more than anything, is that the fact I can get him into this facial expression and get him into some action poses. This is really cool. Now you get a third option where you get the unhelmeted Captain America. Now the directions tell you to tilt the head to the side and pop this off, which you do want to do. Um, I made the mistake of not reading the directions first, and this bottom piece right over here came off, and that was still attached underneath right over there. And I had to super glue this back together and everything so that I can get the head swapped. Now, now what you're going to need, and the figure doesn't come with it, is this little tool right over here that comes with a lot of other Hot Toys figures because you want to move this part of the collar away uh, from the peg inside there. I'm going to remove this shield. So you can see that if you're just going to try to put the head straight on, you're, you're going to catch some of the collar. So you definitely want to do something to try to get this out of the way over here. And it definitely takes some finagling. Seriously, doing this type of stuff, you want to, you know, have the figure resting in your lap and you want to have this piece right here. You gotta do this and try to sneak it in sideways like that. So if, you know, if Hot Toys could make it easier to do this, that would be cooler. But I just really don't like the collar falling down. Because you want the collar to look good once you put it on here and whatnot. And again, this looks awesome. Man, that really looks like Chris Evans. This thing is creepy. It, you know, when they just nail the likeness like this, it, it does look creepy in, in a very good way, right? But look at the face right there, man. Get all these little attention to detail with this paint and everything. 
Nice gold right there for the hair, which when I first saw that on the Thor figure from the Avengers movie, it kind of threw me off, but now I actually kind of think it looks pretty good. I'm liking that, you know? It looks really nice. You just crush it with these head sculpts, man. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really dig it a lot. Uh, probably still going to have him just posed with the angry face, though. Now, looking at the rest of the suit over here, I really like that it's a very bright blue. I mean, it's a dark color blue, but just the way it reflects light, it's just very well made, I think. It just pops really nicely, and I think it looks really cool with the variations of blue that we get over here. Get this more of like plastic material right here. Nice silver right there for the star. White and red looks really good. Again, you know, the design choice, uh, I, I do prefer having the white over here on the arms. I think that would have looked a little bit cooler. And then we get the Avengers logo on the side over there. Some nice straps. And then you can unbutton these if you want to. He has those straps right over there, which could be potentially removable. The arms look pretty nice. I like that. Again, I like that we get this more elastic material towards the cuffs. He has some pretty good elbow pads right over there. I'm pretty good, man. Yeah, I really like this, you know, so that's pretty cool. You know, you can see how this one is a little bit more reflective than this darker blue right over there. Now, looking at the belt, I think it looks really good. I'm liking it. And there are parts that you can detach, like you can unclip this right over here if you'd like to. I just show that off, even though I don't really like doing it, but there it goes. And then he has this weird back flap over here that is pegged into these two little clips. So you can see one of those clips right over there, and then there's another one over here. And this one tends to get undone on me, so it's not too difficult porting that back in. But I'm not really a huge fan of this big flap piece. It could have stopped right underneath here. Like, I understand having this over here to have it on the shoulders to fill that out, but this little piece, you could remove that, I think. So that's a little irritating. I'm going to get that all ported back together and everything and you know, in a little bit. There's a Captain America butt. Legs look pretty good as far as the fabric goes. I like how the fabric looks on these. I like the knee pads and everything. I just think that the buck has just really scrawny looking legs in comparison to his upper torso. There's some poses that I get this figure in and it just kind of looks funny to me with how skinny his legs look. So I do think the legs are on the thin side. The boots look good though. I really like them a lot. It's kind of tricky to see at first, but there is some nice weathering on the boots as you can see it right down there. That looks really good. And nice buckles and everything. A little bit more wear. And this is made out of a softer material. And I love that they have the foot detached right over here from the rest of the boot to allow for a lot more articulation. And you can see all the dirt and everything on the bottom of the feet. So for articulation, you can get his head looking up a significant amount. I think that's very good. You can move the head downward that much. You get side to side movement over here and we get the neck pivot. And it's the same thing for both heads, right? Uh, the shoulders move outward that far. You can move them downward that much. They will move forward. I've been able to get his arms moving all the way forward like like that and I think that looks pretty good and I feel like I'm not having too much stitching pop out on me by doing that either he also has an armpit joint that moves in and out over here there is bicep rotation he has a double jointed elbow but he bends in at 90 degrees it rotates right here at the wrists and the wrists hinge up and down a bit uh, he doesn't really have much of a diaphragm joint to be honest with you it just seems like he has only waist articulation and while I have this detached right over here I'm gonna put this back together and show how you can rotate his waist right here so it looks like he can do, you know, full 360, but I'm not going to move it more than that. And he crunches at the waist and he can move back. Uh, it doesn't actually really move back much at the waist at all. And, uh, actually, you know, I lie just a little bit, just a little bit. So yeah, that's a pretty good fair amount of movement at the waist anyway. It, it, I can feel like a diaphragm joint in there, but just because the suit's so bulky, it really doesn't want to move. And nice little metal pieces right here. I think those are cool. Anyway, moving forward, uh, we have hip joints forward, always forward. If you catch that reference, you know what I'm talking about, right? Anyway, uh, hips move outward that much. You can get them kicking forward that far. Uh, it doesn't move back too much. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. And then his ankles can turn side to side like that. You can move them downward, upward, and he does have ankle pivot. And then here's Captain America at his widest stance possible with both feet still flat on the floor. Now to measure this Captain America figure, you can see that he is standing just a little under 13 inches tall. So while I have reviewed the Captain America Winter Soldier figure and the Age of Ultron Captain America figure, I don't own either of those. Uh, this is the only other Hot Toys Captain America figure that I have. Thank you so much, Sean Long. And you can see how much taller this new Captain America is compared to the first Avenger Cap. And then here's our Civil War Captain America compared to the Age of Ultron Mark 45 Iron Man. And I like the height difference between these two. I know it's not a Mark 46. I hope to get a hold of one. I don't have 
have one on pre-order, so I'm really hoping I can get a Mark 46 Iron Man. But so far, having these two posed fighting each other has been a lot of fun. Stay tuned for the slideshow. And then here's our new Captain America compared to the Iron Man 3 Tony Stark. And I know Cap is supposed to be taller than Tony, but I don't know. I feel like this is just a little bit too tall compared to Tony. I feel like he should just be like up to there, right? Here's a new Captain America just thrown up on my Hot Toys shelf over here. He looks really good with all these other figures, man. I'm pretty stoked about this. But he is tall. I mean, he is significantly taller than Ant-Man over there. I mean, even though he's standing a little bit closer. Ooh, man, that shelf is dusty. Then here's our Hot Toys Civil War Captain America compared to the Marvel Select Civil War Captain America and the Marvel Legends Civil War Captain America. And I like all three of these figures. And then here's Captain America next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Now, I must say, the more I pose this figure around, the more I like it. I really, really do like this figure, and I'm happy that I held off on getting the Winter Soldier version and the Age of Ultron version, believe it or not. However, I will say, if you already have the Age of Ultron Captain America figure, you may want to be a little bit more hesitant about picking this one up. The whole shield deal is incredibly annoying. It's it's still difficult. I tried giving you my little tip on how I want to do it a little bit differently, thinking that it'd be a little bit easier, but it's still difficult and complicated to get through. But it does work, so it's not like it's total garbage or anything like that. It's still a really good figure, and I do recommend recommend it. It just has its downfalls, which aren't too terrible. Anyway, I hope you guys thought this video wasn't too terrible. If you didn't, please hit the like button. If you did, you gotta hit the dislike button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let the world know what you think. Uh, pretty soon we'll have some boxes popping up over here, so if you want to check out some of my other videos, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe circle face right over there. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. Shortly I'll be writing a written review for MarvelousNews.com on this figure, so please check out my written reviews. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. It's not too shabby at all.